Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to I Crack Your Eye Device. It's been a while since I've made a video. My name is Tony, and if you guys don't know, if you're a new subscriber, I'm the co-host of this channel. Tanner and myself both make jailbreak and top tweak related videos, along with a bunch of other Apple related topics. Anyhow, major news today, a brand new iOS 13.3 jailbreak has been released, so we wanted to make a top tweak video for you guys, showing you some of the awesome things that you can do right after jailbreaking. And of course, today we're going to cover 30 jailbreak tweaks that are fully compatible with iOS 13.3. Now, if you've seen our videos in the past, you'll know we put all of our tweaks that we cover in videos on our website, besttechinfo.com. So all the tweaks from this video are located there, as well as the sources you need to install them. And right now would actually be a great time to go ahead and pop up Cydia and install those sources. Really, the only tweak that I recommend installing before adding sources is called Flame. It's that guy right there. With this installed, you can basically go to your sources, click edit, click add right there, and you can actually batch import all of the sources. There's actually only six in this video, but you can batch import all of them, so you can go ahead and install tweaks that you like in this video. Anyhow, it's as simple as that. The very last thing I wanted to talk about before we get into today's list is compatibility. Now I'm sure right after the jailbreak is released or shortly thereafter, there will be a community-based compatibility list already started. And I wanna make this video a resource for those brand new to jailbreaking on iOS 13.3. If you want to check out all of the tweaks that are compatible as of recording this video, go ahead and pop open that compatibility list. Again, the second it's created, I'll link it down below in this video's description, as well as on our Best Tech Info website. With that being said, let's get into today's video. All of these tweaks I've tested on iOS 13.3 on my iPhone 10. Again, double check that compatibility list before installing anything on A12 or A13 devices, as they might not be compatible. But most of these tweaks I ran on iOS 12.4 on my A12 device, and I've installed on iOS 13.3, so I'm pretty sure they'll all work, but there might be a couple that don't. Anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at today's top 30 list. Okay, well let me show you guys what I'm rocking on my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Cydia and cover some of the basic tweaks I think you guys should install right after jailbreaking. Well, to quickly queue up tweaks, let me go ahead and grab this right here. If I swipe to quickly queue up or install them just like that, you can install as many tweaks as you want right in one fell swoop. It's an awesome tweak to have. Again, that one's called Swipe for More. At the start of this video, I showed you guys Flame to quickly install a bunch of sources via batch mode. You can also export sources right there at that little button. Um, sources as well as tweak lists, and you can send an email to yourself so you can share or just back up the list that you have. Another way to share your setup with your friends is with Batchomatic. You basically can create a DEB, send that over to your friends, or send that to, say, another phone that you've yet to set up, and it will copy all of the sources as well as the tweaks to your new phone all in one fell swoop. So anything that's installed on this phone, I can quickly send over to other phones. Well, with a jailbreak, some people just want to explore the iOS file system for the very first time, and you can do that with Files Up File Manager. You can explore and you can edit all of the files on your iPhone. It's basically Finder for iOS. Anyhow, that one's called Files Up. If you want to show off to your friends how many packages you have installed, that's done with Tweak Count 2. We also have a Tweak Compatible right here, which is, again, it's community-based, but it will show you before you install a tweak as well as after if it's compatible with your iOS version as well as with your iOS device. So it's a good tweak to have installed in the background within Cydia. I personally don't like the home bar right here, that little bar that comes up on notched devices. Well, Hide Bar X gets rid of that annoying home bar on all of your applications from Cydia to settings to Safari, so forth. Another one at the bottom is called Fluid Tabs. You can just swipe to go to the next tab. And again, this is not just in Cydia. This is across your entire iOS device. So any application that has tabs, you can use it with. 
So next we have Fast Unlock X, and I don't actually have Face ID enabled, but essentially you guys will get the gist when you're on the lock screen or if your device is not unlocked yet, once your face is recognized without having to swipe up like I just did in the video, your phone will unlock automatically. Super cool tweak. So again, right after jailbreaking, one of my favorite tweaks is called Power Module. It gives you a quick way to respring your device right from the control center, just like that, so you guys can apply settings, remove tweaks, enter safe mode if you need to get rid of one, and uh, a bunch of other cool options as well. Again, that one's called Power Module. It's located in the control center. You'll have to enable it uh, in the settings app first before it shows up there. And if for whatever reason that one doesn't work, we have pulled respring within the settings app, just pull down from the top and your device respring's. Same thing, just a different way to access that feature. We have battery percent X. So again, for all of the notch devices, it puts the battery percentage up in the top right instead of your battery logo. It's kind of like a must have in my opinion. If your phone's running slow or you wanna get rid of some unnecessary files like message attachments, you can do that with iCleaner. It's free from Big Boss. All right, so everything I've mentioned so far have kind of been utility tweaks. It makes installing tweaks and managing your jailbreak a little bit easier. Well, let's get into some of the fun tweaks now, some of the things that you can't do or some of the new features that jailbreaking can bring to your iOS device. Uh, a couple going on in the settings app right here, for example, I have better settings to give a pure black mode to my settings application. Uh, I have circle settings, so all of the icons um, are circular in the settings app. And then I also have shuffle. This one's an awesome one. It puts tweaks right at the top in its own category instead of having to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Um, you can also do that with stick around. You can pin a category as well, but shuffle at least puts tweaks into its own category. So pretty cool tweak I like to have there. So I know this is an A13 and A12 jailbreak. Real quickly for everyone that's on iOS 13.3 that's on a non-notch device like the iPhone 8 or earlier, really the only tweak that I have for you that I love is called Little 11. It brings all of the gestures as well as the UI from notched devices to devices uh, that don't have a notch. So all the camera buttons, uh, swipe up gestures, things like that. Super awesome tweak to have running in the background. Now again, if we go into the control center on a notch device, uh, if you wanna turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi permanently, Real CC is still the tweak to go to there. Uh, again, this will disable them forever, not just for 24 hours. So they're permanently off. If you guys wanna customize your icon themes, use Snowboard, that's my go-to tweak. The theme I am using is called Lotus. And it's still not out of beta yet, but Home Plus Beta is what I'm using to customize my icon grid layout. I'm doing a three by eight layout here, or is it, yeah, no, three by seven. Three by seven layout instead of your typical uh, four by whatever layout. Anyhow, if you guys wanna customize your grid layout um, and icon spacing, do that with Home Plus Beta. You activate it by pulling down on the top left. You have all these options to choose from. Just swipe up to apply the changes. So if you guys watch YouTube on your iPhone, a great tweak to have is called SirCube. It keeps the video playing in the background and adds some other features as well. Some YouTube Pro or Plus, whatever it is, features that are now free like they should be on your iOS device. So a fun one that I like to have is called Pencil Charging Indicator. When you guys plug in your iOS devices, you get this awesome little prompt right there at the very top of your device. Looks pretty sweet in my opinion. Again, that one's called Pencil Charging Indicator. Now this one's a simple one, but it's one of my go-tos. It's called Silent Screenshot. So if I take a screenshot, you just get that little animation instead of it making a sound. Again, how could we live without Small Surrey? Now it no longer takes up the entire screen just to activate Surrey. Uh, it does have a little bit of UI problem, but you guys get the gist. It still works pretty well. All right, so this one's one of my all-time favorites, actually. I know it's just kind of thrown in here. There's no organization to this video as far as what are my favorites and things like that. All of these are my favorites. All of these are my go-tos uh, right after jailbreaking. Well, check this one out. It's called Adaptive Dark Mode. As you guys can see, Dark Mode is not enabled right now, but let's say I throw my device into low power mode. Well, now automatically, Dark Mode is enabled, just like that, pretty sweet. Um, another way you can do it is if you toggle your brightness really low, 
Also, dark mode is enabled, or if I brighten up my iPhone, then light mode is enabled. So pretty cool tweak right there. You can change the settings a lot. So it's a pretty cool tweak. You can basically enable or disable dark mode automatically with other things that happen on your device based on brightness, do not disturb, low power mode, and a bunch of other things. I'm sure you guys have seen this throughout my video. Cool CC is what gives your control center this interface with kind of the outlined uh, platters. It looks pretty sweet. So if I'm playing some music and go to my lock screen, uh, I have Sylph, which basically makes uh, the music controls a little bit skinnier and sleeker on the home screen or lock screen, excuse me, but it looks pretty sweet. It's pretty skinny and that's really all you need. I don't know why it's any bigger than that. Also, if you guys notice, I pulled down, this is actually the notification center, but the no older notification text is gone and that's done with the tweak called no older notification text. So pretty cool one there. Again, with eliminating some of these unnecessary banners, when you guys uh, enable dark mode, usually you have a banner saying you're in dark mode or a notification saying you're in dark mode. Well, no more to that either with no D&D &D banner. And due to its popularity, everyone always asks me about this tweak, what it's called, and uh, it's pretty much a given that's going to be included in every single video, at least every single initial release of a jailbreak video. Um, I'm using Zen HTML, and this widget that I have going on in the background is called Fluid Widget. So, super awesome animations. Warning, it will drain your battery. And uh, here, if we're in a message thread, now we have bar emoji for iOS 13. Look at that, guys. It's fully updated and works great. Anyhow, super excited to have that tweak back. But that wraps up this video. Those were 30 tweaks that work on iOS 13.3. Again, double check they work on your specific device, but they all work together and they're my go-tos right after jailbreaking with a brand new jailbreak. Anyhow, a couple other I didn't include in this video, I didn't have time to demo. Uh, Mashuda Infinity to get the music visualizer on your home screen. Uh, Lisa to add an OLED uh, lock screen, basically. Animations be fast to speed up your animations. We have color banners to colorize your notification banners. There's a bunch of new tweaks that I've been wanting to cover for the longest time. So pretty soon I'll be making a new tweak video. Again, this is just to refresh and remind everyone and also introduce some new people to the jailbreaking community and all of the awesome things you can do entirely for free pretty quickly right after jailbreaking. Anyhow, a couple of the paid tweaks, just so I don't get any questions about this or there isn't any confusion. The only paid tweaks in this video that I'm kind of displaying right now is Jellyfish, Complications, and you guys might've seen this, I'm using Gesto for my multitasking and control center mix right here. Anyhow, as you guys can see, paid tweaks do some awesome things, but there's so much you can do with entirely free tweaks. I really hope this video helped you out, guys. Again, if you guys want a jailbreak, we have a tutorial on our channel. Definitely check out the tweak compatibility list for now if you guys want to see all the things that are compatible with A12 and A13 devices, as well as discover more tweaks that are not in this video. Again, we will be making more videos very quickly with more tweaks, as this is an awesome achievement by the jailbreaking community. A brand new jailbreak for an iOS version that pretty much was just unsigned a couple of days ago. Like, it's insane that we have this, guys, for the latest flagship devices. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, if you have yet to subscribe, definitely subscribe. More awesome content is coming very soon. Again, all of the tweaks as well as all of the sources are located down below in this video's description on our Best Tech Info website. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.